They see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't get with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag. I'm in the back, cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you the singer, I hope that you ready so mad. Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't get with you what niggas, up, but y'all steady hating, back. don't talk about popping no tag. I'm in the back, cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you the singer, I hope that you ready to clash. Yeah, huh, graduated from the streets to the top of my class You won the world and let's get it, I told you I'd live it All you had to do was yourself I know before I was chilling, just trying to get millions Now all of that shit in the past I think it's up to the seller, however you will Just so that you ready for class Run down, not do this shit with no Q&A, and I want to talk to y'all About the shit that's not spoken about In the cannabis industry anymore You guys are wondering why it's no content Y'all wondering why everything done changed up it's because it's some left out shit they ain't talking about no more. But we're going to get into it. I'm going to let y'all come in while we rock out to me and Frosty McNausty. Oh, man. If they won't call it a race, we're going to lap them. Cry like a baby when you get back at them. They here for the now, but they ain't never going to last. And why? Slow through my life like a turtle, but you get too close and I'm ready to snap. Rules to the game and they all universal. If you break a rule, then you never come back. Huh? Living my life, I'm just chilling. Big plate, I'm going to eat. They're going to eat out the trash. Huh? Once they find out you a clown, got to leave out of town and you never come back. I sit around. I'm the counters, I'm loving the sound that it make when it get to a stack And I show nothing but love, but if you a hater, then fuck y'all, I know I'm so mad Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't get with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag I in the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready so mad Cause they see me what up though? Y'all already know if y'all got questions, go ahead and drop them or throw them in the question mark box. Is it possible to get Beast Coast cut of ice cream cake in seed form or any ghetto cake laying around? Um, the reason you probably won't get my Fenoa ice cream cake in seed form is because it ain't my strain. I mean, you could reverse it and, and, and sell the S1s, but ain't my shit. Like, uh, nah, I'm cool. <clears throat> I stay on the go. Exotic, what's happening? Uh, did I miss any questions before I go in? What up, everybody that's in the building? Make sure that y'all share the stream. Get some other people involved in this conversation. Because we about to get active. Yeah, so um, it's a lot of unspoken about shit in the cannabis industry now. It's like as grows have gotten bigger, all the information has become homogenized. Um, all, all the information that we have on all of the strains have just become homogenized. Everything is the same. Everything got the same flat. Bullshit. Bullshit. Back in the day, we knew that there were certain strains that had to be treated a certain way or they would not perform properly. Name one strain today that they telling you has to be grown a certain way or it won't perform properly. Girl Scout cookie. When cookies came out, there was a method to being able to yield big off a of Girl Scout cookie. There was a way you had to do it. Today, no, ain't no way you got to do nothing. Everything is eight and nine weeks. All the strains. Check, go check any pack of seeds. Eight, nine weeks. All the strains. Chem crosses, eight, nine weeks. Fuck the fact that it's an 11, 12, 13 week strain. The hell with the fact that the lineage that it comes from. Eight to nine weeks, done. Out the door. You know where that came from? Large scale growing where you can't afford to wait. Large scale growing where 13 weeks is a round and a half if you harvest in at, at, at 8 and 9 weeks. That's where it came from. Get the, get the official cut of wedding cake and tell me that wedding cake is not a 12 week strain. Go ahead. Get the official cut of wedding cake and tell me that wedding cake is not an 11 or 12 week strain. Pop, pop seeds of ice cream cake and find the, uh, the wedding cake lean in phenos guarantee you that they attempt to run clean over 10 weeks ask anybody how long of a flower in time is ice cream cake they're gonna tell you eight to nine weeks something about this don't sound right and you guys are wondering why you're not getting the results everybody else is getting it's because they lying they lying they are week 12 and a half when they showing it to you talking about chopping that week nine stop the cat stop it for these strains to dense up properly, for these strains to get the look that you guys are seeing in those pictures, those guys are running these strains 10 weeks minimum. Promise you. I promise you. Do you think 
do you think that some of these stores would run out of flour from certain breeders if they were harvesting every eight to nine weeks? If you harvested, if you grew strains that grew eight to nine weeks and you only had two rooms, three, if you have one room for veg, two flower rooms, that's my setup. One room for veg, two flowering rooms. If you flower everything around eight weeks or nine weeks, it's a harvest every month and a decent sized harvest every month. You'll never run out. You'll, you'll, ne you'll never run out. It, it's just not going to happen. Especially at a dispensary where most of the people ain't going. If you're running out of flour, a strain, in a dispensary where most people don't go to get their flour, that lets you know that these people are running these strains full term. You can't afford not to. To get all the proper characteristics, to get all the proper characteristics, to pull all the color that's necessary, to make sure that you don't have a bunch of pistols at the end that wind up turning into orange hairs and making the weed look funny afterwards, you're going to have to run these strains full term. And full term is not eight to nine weeks. But go check the packs of seeds. All the packs of seeds, every strain, eight to nine weeks. Girl Scout cookie crosses, eight to nine weeks. Cookies is a clear as day, 10 week strain. You could take it 11 if you wanted to. Ice cream cake crosses, eight to nine weeks. Ice cream cake, eight, eight to nine weeks. Fuck the fact that wedding cake is like a 11, 12 week strain. Anybody who's grown the real wedding cake knows it never stops. Te check wedding cake at week eight, and it's full of white pistols. Full of white pistols. Letting you know it still wants to keep going. When everything else in the room is done, wedding cake is still throwing white pistols. When you see the structure of wedding cake, it'll let you know that this thing throws white pistols to the end. Look at the knobby structure of it. Everything about it lets you know that. Check any cross of it, they're going to tell you eight, nine weeks. Are we losing out on potency at eight and nine weeks? Are we losing out on yield at eight and nine weeks? Are we losing out on color at eight and nine weeks? Are we losing out on terpenes at eight and nine weeks? That is some new shit that came based off the dude with the green face that was on uh, YouTube. Yeah, you know the guy with the green face that taught you how to set up the hydro rooms down in your basement and to have five different sections where you, that that's where the eight to nine weeks came from. That's when you had to pump crops out before you could get caught. That's when you just had to pump the crops out before you get caught. So people started reducing the flowering time. Oh, we'll switch to hydroponic and RDWC and DWC and it finishes two weeks earlier. Bullshit. Bullshit. I've ran RDWC. I've ran DWC. Shit don't finish no faster. Or you can, you can technically shave a week off. You can technically do a lot of shit. If, if RDWC and DWC was faster, you don't think I'd be doing it? Especially when current culture will sell you the whole fucking setup. I don't have to worry about shit. I could just go buy the full setup. I don't have to DIY shit if I don't want to. And I could finish two weeks earlier. You don't think I'd be doing it? Yo, the growth, the growth in uh, hydroponic is three times faster than soil. Oh, shit. Take it from somebody who just moved from flat out one gallon pots of cocoa on tables, watering systems, over into no-till. I'm going to tell you that three weeks in cocoa and three weeks in the no-till beds, the plants were the same size. Had you guys asked me this before I ran the no-till beds indoor, I would have told you that the cocoa room is going to finish faster. But I never did no-till indoor. Now that I did it indoor, I'm going to tell you flat out the growth was the same. Go look at the rooms. Go look at the rooms. This is the second time in a row that I've overvegged in the no-till beds. Expecting that I was going to need extra time to veg these because they're in soil and soil grows so much slower than, than cocoa does. And if there is a difference, it ain't noticeable. But large-scale facilities begin to get on YouTube and start giving us information based on how they ran their facilities. And that turned into law in the cannabis industry. Yeah, we, we pump crops out every eight to nine weeks. We only run strains that are eight and nine weeks. And then you see them with a room full of wedding cake. 
See him with a room full of Han Solo burger. Room full of GMO. We only run eight to nine week strains though. You took that shit to heart. Don't lie. You took that shit to heart. Let it die on the vine. Yeah, I took that shit to heart. All of these, all of these tools and facts, y'all took the shit to heart. This is the best lighting company. A few moments later. Don't get this lighting company. Like, yeah, take this shit to heart from these large scale facilities who are promoting things that they don't even fucking use. I didn't move to fucking LED simply because somebody else moved to LED. I moved to LED because now like I have two flowering rooms in a bedroom to harvest every every four and a half to five weeks. I wouldn't have had enough power to be able to do it with Gavitas. Not the way I wanted to do. LEDs made it possible. And the yield wasn't too far off. It wasn't because Jungle Boy said it. Oh, drying, you needed 60 degrees, 60% 60 humidity. It can't be no higher, no lower, no... Some of the loudest weed we ever smoked in our fucking life back in the day. We're talking about that .8 of sour that you had in your pocket. That if you had that shit in school, you fucked the whole floor up. That, that sour that you roll that .8 in the Dutch. Smoke it with eight of your friends. And y'all high for six hours. We're talking about that shit right there. That shit wasn't dried at no 60-60. Do you know how scared they were? To deal with 60% humidity, drying. They were taught lower the humidity uh, uh, as the buds get bigger so you can avoid bud rot. They wasn't drying at no 60% humidity. Yeah, you got to dry it for two weeks at 60-60. Bullshit. Bullshit. And how big of a crop are they talking about? That's another thing y'all don't factor in. Yes, it'll take them two weeks to dry a 50 light room. It's a fucking 50 light room. It's a lot more moisture coming off the plants. Yeah. A lot more material in the room. Yeah. It may take them two weeks to dry. You're in a 4x8. It is not going to take you two weeks to dry in a 4x8. And if you try to make it take that long, you're just a fucking nut. That's for the guys with the massive harvests that they struggle to be able to dry in two weeks because there's so much plant material. You guys don't have that much plant material? Stop it. Y'all make your life so difficult. I get text messages sometimes or uh, DMs of, of you guys like nutrient regimens. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I don't even read it. I see it and think chaos. Like no way that your nutrient regimen is a paragraph. I just read, I, like, I look at it and be like, nigga, just to water the goddamn plants? A paragraph. When when I use nutrients, okay, bottled nutrients, we'll start from, we'll start from when I was on the bottled nutrients. Can of A, can of B. Done. Can of A, can of B, done. First three weeks of flour, raw phosphorus. Next three weeks of flour, raw potassium. One week after that, both of them. After that, flush. Done. Moved over to Jack's. Three, two, one, done. Three, two, one, done. There is no way that you guys are using nine different products on these plants. Ain't no way. Who who did that to you? Who the fuck taught you you needed all of that? Yeah, I gotta use this enzyme product, and I gotta use this uh, micro product, and I gotta use... You a hydroponic? Yeah. Salt-based nutrients? Yeah. But I use four different kinds of microbes. Any particular reason you trying to build soil or are you trying to work up a colony, a food web to be able to feed the plants? Are you, nah, nah, nah. It's just to, to help my roots. 
Madness. Madness when I see... Oh, shit. I wish I had the bomb. We got Grandmaster Level in the motherfucking building. Shout out to Grandmaster Level. But you guys, y'all make growing chaos. Chaos. And what happened to the strains with the longer flowering time? We always got to ask these questions. When information just starts disappearing that used to be law, we got to start asking questions. Like, what the fuck happened to the Zika virus? That's the same way I got to ask, what happened to the strains that flowered longer than eight and nine weeks? Go online right now. Go to almost any seed company you want to. Nothing flowers long than eight to nine weeks. It's like they just copy and paste descriptions and flowering times and just everything. Eight, nine weeks. Eight, nine weeks. Eight, nine weeks. Nothing's nine, ten weeks. Nothing's nine to eleven weeks. Nothing's nine to thirteen weeks. Based on the pheno. But it's a Girl Scout cookie cross. And we all know that Girl Scout cookie flowers ten week minimum. Facts. No, no way around it. Then you cross it to another strain that flowers nine weeks. And somehow you come out with a strain that'll finish in eight weeks. Now, now you don't grew this. You looking at this plant at week eight, week nine. And you're like, damn, how come mine ain't turning purple? How come mine ain't throwing no color? How come mine? Because he told you that was week nine. He told you that the, getting the big chop day 56. Nigga, it's like day 77 in that room. It's like day 77 in that room. Not all strains finish in 8 to 9 weeks. If you are growing ice cream cake, it does not finish in 8 to 9 weeks. If you're growing any wedding cake crosses, they do not finish in no 8 to 9 weeks. They do not. Wedding cake itself is like an 11 weeker. It's going to pass down that trait to some of those females. For sure, for sure. Now you guys are all discouraged because you're thinking somebody done sold me a fake cut. That's what you're thinking. This, this doesn't look like the same one that he grew. They must have gave me a fake cut. And the warmer you are at the end of flower is going to play into effect how dense the buds are and the way that the buds look. You guys are growing in completely different rooms. No one cares about that anymore. Buy this clone, it's gonna look exactly like it did when I grew it. Granted, I got two tons extra AC to make sure that I could keep up with any problems in the room. So I sized my AC and went two tons over so I could put this room at whatever temperature I want to. The hell with the fact that I got dehumidification on smash. I could lower the de I could lower the humidity down to nothing if I wanted to. You in a four by eight. Struggling to try to copy the nigga with the 50 lights. Now you discourage. Oh, my room doesn't look as good as his though. And then I'll be looking at y'all growers like yours look better. Some of y'all growers is hard on y'all selves. Some of y'all growers be harder. Some of y'all send me pictures of a leaf. It be one little problem on the tip of the leaf. And y'all be panicking. Yo, wh yo, yo, what's wrong with my plant? What is this? Do you know where this came from? It's fine, bro. Look, look at that room. How did you even notice that on that leaf? Are you harvesting leaf? Is that, is that what we doing now? Fuck that corner leaf. Look at the room. We busy looking at the trees, not seeing the forest. Looking at the trees, forgetting it's a forest. Y'all, y'all grows be so goddamn amazing, and y'all be telling me about other people's shit. Your four x four look better than any room I've seen from some of these people, and a four x four, crushing it, crushing it. Round after round after round. You busy looking at them thinking they doing better than you. It took 16 workers, 86 bottles of nutrients, 46 sponsors <laughs> for them to get the same results that you got in your tent with your two no-till pots. 
quality ain't even close. Don't listen to the myths. You guys gotta pay attention. Watch the strains. If you get in close to week eight and this plant don't look like it's about to be done, go. When you think that the plant's done, take it another week. That that used to be the rule of thumb. When you think that the plant is done, take it another week. Y'all plants be drinking water like a motherfucker. Y'all be drink y'all plants be drinking away. Y'all ready to chop them down. When a plant's ready to get chopped down, it don't drink. It don't drink. You give it water, you come back, that pot heavy as shit still. That's when the plant's done. If your plant guzzling down water every day still, it's not done. It's just not done. Take it another week. And then in another week, you might have to take it another week. You go until the plant stops drinking water. Just calm. What's happening? Go until the plant stop drinking. Go until the buds is flopping so much you don't want to risk right on one side of them. But don't chop a plant at eight or nine weeks just because the pack of seeds said so. Because these pack of seeds be lying. Yeah, this plant is 50% sativa and 50% indica. How the fuck you know? How the fuck do you know? That plant that you claiming is a sativa might not even be a sativa. Yeah, I crossed this sativa with this indica, so it has to be 50-50. So the indica couldn't be dominant in the cross? It just, everything got 50-50. The sativa couldn't have been dominant in the cross? Every, everything got to be 50-50. Stop that. Watch your plants. Learn your plants. Watch good growers like Grandmaster Level, like Canna Genetics. Those are people who keep it real. Those are people who tell you the truth. Those are people who give you the real game. Y'all out here watching these bigger growers that lie to you on purpose to make sure that you fail so you never have to wind up becoming competition for them. I said it. Large scale growers give you game to fail so you don't wind up becoming competition for them later. They'll tell you to use a product that they don't even fucking use. They don't even use the product. It's similar to when Future was rapping about the drugs and then when they asked him about it, he said, I don't even really be doing drugs. It's the same shit. Yeah, my dry room has to be 60-60. But what if you can't keep it at 60-60? What's, what's the highest that you'll accept? What's the highest humidity you'll accept? What's the lowest humidity you'll accept? They ain't even say that. Just 60-60. Yeah, with Athena. And it gotta be Athena, because Athena increases your yield by 75%. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Athena increases yield by 75%. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Use what works for you. I use canna because canna works. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. A, B, done. Why not? I use jacks because it works. Cheap, works, boom, done. If all you could get to is general hydroponic, use the goddamn general hydroponic. Use whatever works for you. Stop paying attention to large scale growers that are looking on your downfall. You think they want to invite you into the competition? Do you know how hard it was for them to get there? Why the fuck do we assume that they'll give us the real information? We don't trust the government, but we'll trust the other growers that's leaving out information. Remember when, uh, when uh, Jungle Boys had y'all on Veg Bloom, remember? That was just a short time ago. It was Veg Bloom or nothing. Everybody, Veg Bloom. Don't none of them niggas use that shit no more. Don't none of you niggas use that shit no more. 
Oh, Veg Bloom, it increases yield, and my Terps are off the chain a few moments later. Gone. Gone. So I move on to that shit. Y'all see one grower get great results from being a great grower, having a great grow room, knocking around out the park. And you accredit it to a nutrient. That ain't no different than you spending all your time growing this fire ass weed just for them to call it rapper weed. As if the rapper had any fucking thing to do with the fucking weed. All he did was smoke the shit that I put my blood and sweat and tears into. That grow room you seen, that wasn't from the fucking nutrient, that was from blood, sweat, and tears. How did you knock around out the park? Blood, sweat, and tears. Ain't no product do that. Can't no product do that. You could fail with Jax. You can fail with Canna. You could fail with no nutrients doing no-till. How good of a grower are you? And are you honing in on your grow skills? Are you honing in on what nutrient will get me to knock it out the fucking park? It's none of them. What light is going to get me to knock it out the fucking park? None of them. So how can I become a better grower? By failing. By running into issues and solving them. By getting a spider mite infestation and learning how to never let that happen to you again. By dealing with thrips and gnats and finding out how to combat them and how to be more proactive instead of reactive. Yes sir, I'm going to save these and start trying to get them up on the, on the other channel. That, that's where it comes from. Becoming a better grower. Learning how to get a better IPM regimen and veg. That's where it comes from. That wasn't no nutrient. He told you that was try this cap. Because if you remove the tribus, that nigga's such a good goddamn grower, it would have happened anyway. Oh, it was Mammoth P. Remove the Mammoth P, this nigga would have knocked it out the park anyway. He's one fuck of a grower. He been at it for 15 years. He done knocked it out the park regardless. Knock it out the park regardless. From honing in on grow skills. Not nutrient skills, grow skills. Hold on real quick. Y'all rock out for a second. I'll be right back. I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't do with you niggas, but y'all steady hating Don't talk about popping no tag no I spend the buck Take it from the beginning On the come up, I'm just getting started. I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating. Don't talk about popping no tag. No tag. I spend the block as I'm patient. Come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You want to smoke with the demon, well, now you done seen it. I hope that you ready to go mad. Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started. I didn't even get in my bag. Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating. Don't talk about popping no tag. No tag. I spend the block as I'm patient. Come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash. You want to smoke with the demon, well, now you done seen it. I hope that you ready to clash. Yeah. Huh. Graduated from the streets at the top of my class You won the world and let's get it I told you I live it, all you had to do is just sad I know before I was chilling, just trying to get millions Now all of that shit in the past I think it's up to the ceiling, however you will it. Just talk that you ready for class Run down, not do this shit with no mask If they won't call it a race, we gon' lap them Cry like a baby when you get back at them They here for the now, but they never gon' last Why? Slow through my life like a turtle But you get too close and I'm ready to snap Rules to the game and they all universal If you break a rule then you never come back Huh? Living my Life, I'm just chilling, big plate, I'm gonna eat, they gonna eat out the trash huh? Once they find out you a clown, gotta leave out of town and you never come back I sit around many counters, I'm loving the sound that it make when they get to a stack And I show nothing but love, but if you a hater, then fuck y'all, yeah, I know I'm so mad Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag I spend the block as I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready so mad Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all Okay, 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 I'm back Yeah, don't fall for none of that shit, y'all Don't fall for none of that Oh, I knocked it out the round. I knocked it out the park this round because I used Power SI. Silica Blast been working for years. Raw silica been working for years. Rice hulls if you in uh, no till. What are we doing? It's not the products making these products better. 
it is you making the products better. Because you could be a shitty grower using the same nutrients and get shitty results. Or you could be a great grower using that same nutrients and get great results. So it's definitely not the nutrient. It's definitely not any of the products. It's definitely not because of all this other bullshit that they're telling y'all. They tell you everything up until harvest. Everything up until harvest. What about if you're in Arizona and 60% humidity just ain't even probably optional or possible when it comes to drying? Then what do you do? Then what? Now, now what? I'm in Arizona. I'm in New Mexico. It's dry as fuck. Dry as shit. We, we struggle to hit 30% humidity. How are we going to dry at 60-60? You can. So how do I combat that beast? You start trimming in time. What do you mean by that? Since your plants are going to dry a little bit faster. Because you're going to have to deal with the humidity issues. What you do is, the moment you sense them getting dry, you move them into a much colder room. And you begin to get them off of the stems. You begin to get them into something where you can seal the humidity that they have left in them. Then you won't have to deal with the loss of turps as long as you're not drying at no 75-8. If you at 64, 65, 67, you cool. But no, it gotta be 60-60. Gotta be. Even though some people live in places where they never see 60% humidity. Some people live in places where they can't even get it down to 60 you know how humid it is in some places? They don't care. They don't care. If you live in the Northeast or the Midwest, sometimes it's negative two outside, zero percent humidity. What do you do? You could get it down to 60, but you can't get the humidity up to 60 without adding water in the room. And that's what you don't want to do is add a humidifier to the room. You just start trimming in time. As long as you start before it gets too dry, you'll be fine. Who else told you that? Everybody told you your crop will be ruined unless it's 60 60. Cap. Cap. You think. You think these big ass greenhouses they're taking down? These depths. A1 depths. Tier 3 A1 depths. No. You. You think they dry in that 60-60? 14 greenhouses they took down at the same time. 60-60? You, that's what you think they're doing? By the time it hits your city and you busting them packs open, it's pressure. Straight gas. 60-60? You, th you think they was able to do that? 14 greenhouses. Fuck no. They couldn't. And they ain't about to struggle to do it. Because they know the truth. That that is not law. It's just not law. Now don't don't go out there drying that no 7580. But if you can't get it down to 60. You around 65, 66. Bro, dry, dry, dry that flower. You can't get your humidity above 50. Bro, dry the flower. It's gonna be fine. Keep the temps down. You'll be good. Make sure that when you start trimming, that the very last plant will be dry enough by the time you're done trimming. Simple math. Simple fucking math. These little skills, these little tips and tricks, that's what makes you a better grower. It's not gonna be no products. It will never be a product that's making you a better grower. Being a better grower is doing what all of us did in the beginning. Sitting there for hours watching YouTube videos. Sitting there for hours researching shit. Sitting there for hours in the grow rooms tweaking shit. Y'all want to build rooms now that avoid you having to go in the room. Oh, I want to automate this and I want to be able to control this from my phone while I'm on the plane. And I want to be able to... I'm going in the fucking room. You know why? Because good growers go in the fucking room. Even Jungle Boy said these plants are touched daily. Daily. Don't worry, I'm leaving all of these up. Daily. Their plants are touched daily. 
Y'all trying to automate to the point you don't even want to walk in the room no more. Wondering why the plants don't give a fuck about y'all no more. Wondering why you're not getting the results that you're supposed to. Oh, nigga, you ain't going to take care of me? Bet. Oh, nigga, you going to do bare, bare minimum for me? Bet. Got you. Heard you. Heard you. I'm going to do bare minimum for you, too. Put the blood, sweat, and tears in. Get in the fucking room. I got bigger rooms than most of y'all. I don't have an automated goddamn thing. I'm hand watering with a wand. I'm, I'm, I'm hand watering with a wand. Yeah, Miami Mango gonna tear me apart for that. Yeah, yeah, but so what? That's what works for me. I hand water with a wand. And I fucking love it. So what? Who's gonna say something about my method? I gotta automate because everybody else automate? Fuck that. I've always been a rebel. Since when was it cool to do what the fuck everybody else is doing? That's our problem. That's why the SFVs is disappearing. That's why the Ghost OGs is disappearing. That's why all the good strains are fucking disappearing. Because you want to do what everybody else want to do. I've been growing the same goddamn strains for about five, six years now. Could I have Switch? Yup. Do I have access to other strains? Yup. My partner is Frosty McNasty. I have access to whatever the fuck I want to. I got can of genetics. I got Muddy Bear. I got a solid team. I can have whatever the fuck I want to. I grow what works for me. When I say I only smoke OG, that's some Beast Coast shit right there. I'm not gonna start smoking runts cause y'all are. Fuck. So I go in my room every day. I don't have shit automated. Can I automate it if I have to leave for an emergency? Yes. In the meantime, shit. I'm in there hand watering. Looking down at them leaves at the bottom that y'all don't pay attention to no more. Then you wonder why you got an infestation that pop up week, week eight, week nine. You ain't down there no more. You ain't showing them that love no more. You ain't giving them that care no more. So you know what they're saying? Fuck you too then. Don't y'all call the plants y'all ladies? Oh, yeah, 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 but you treat them the same. Treat them the same. Sometimes they want a good meal. Brew a tea. Brew a tea. I don't care what system you in. You too lazy to brew a tea every now and then? Really? Your roots don't deserve that? Them packs that you about to get that you've been living off of? Your plants don't deserve a tea? When you outside and it's been a long hot day, don't you like tea? Don't you like a cold beverage? Don't you like things flavorful? You can't brew a tea? Throw a little molasses, a little agave in there? You can't do that? A little ferment, you can't do that? Yeah, my girl said I treat the plants better, but I guarantee you your result is knockout. When you treat them plants with that love and care that they supposed to have, they return the favor. When you think that I'm just going to Athena my way to the fucking top, you're going to wind up like all of them other facilities out there that set up a hundred light rooms and that shit sitting vacant. Vacant. Nobody want that shit. We want the shit that people put the love into. That's why don't nobody go to no fucking dispensary. That's why don't nobody go. We got a guy. We got a grower. We want to go to him. We know what he did. He put his time and effort into that. These large scale growers don't give fuck. You fuck about that plant. They don't fuck about that room. They don't care about the quality y'all gonna smoke. They know y'all can't even see the weed no more. This shit's coming in closed fucking containers. Y'all can't even smell the weed no more. They come in closed containers with, with child seals on them. They don't fuck about y'all. You go there to buy some A1 indoor GMO. You get home and some outdoor. Premature GMO. These people don't care. Support your local fucking farmer. Support that guy that's in your area that took them chances that, that made this legal. That built this market that made it legal. Support your local farmer. Fuck them prices. Y'all don't mind paying that shit to Gucci. Y'all don't mind paying that shit to Balenciaga. Y'all don't mind paying that shit to nobody else. Y'all pay that shit to the rim shop. Y'all pay that shit to the Chinese restaurant. Y'all pay top dollar for a fucking steak. But when it comes to your grower, you gotta have it for the low. 
Fuck the fact that he deserved to live a nice life. The same way he granted you the opportunity to live a nice life. Because where would you be without the flower that he took the time out of his day for you for? Where, where would you be? How much would you be able to enjoy your day if he didn't do that? But you can't even thank him. Support your local fucking farmers. Before we lose all of our local fucking farmers. When people feel unwanted, they leave. You guys noticing the quality difference lately? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of you guys in whatever city you in, y'all been noticing a quality deficiency lately? Mm-hmm. Quality been way down. Y'all remember during the pandemic, what kind of quality was out here when truffles dropped? When, when runts was booming? Y'all remember that quality? Notice you don't see it no more. A anyone else notice that? What happened to the Zaza? What happened to it? Now we just see purple dry weed. That's it. It's dry, crispy, and purple. Ain't no love into that. You know it. Y'all know when you get some food and grandma made that in the back. You don't have to see the chef. You eat the food and it lets you know that, that grandma put her foot in this or not. Sometimes the shit's so good you gotta go looking for the chef afterwards. Yeah, gumbo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember when the gumbo dropped? And they had the they had the pretty ass bags with the gumbo written on it? Y'all notice that the quality done changed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the dry shit hitting the streets. Hard them lolos out here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because you guys didn't want to pay the guys to stay here. Y'all didn't want to pay the growers to stay here. Y'all wanted everything cheaper. Making it impossible for the people who gave a fuck about this to stay afloat. So now y'all stuck with the niggas who's focused on bulk instead of focused on quality. So now the weed just dry and purple. Dry and purple. Because y'all don't want to support the local farmer. Y'all rather support the guys who just threw Athena inside the res, hooked it up to an automatic watering system, came back in uh, nine weeks, chopped it down, threw it up, gave it to you guys afterwards. Sticks, stems, leaves, shit look outdoor. I seen some of the packs coming out these dispensaries. You ain't gonna convince me that shit came from no indoor. Fluffy, airy, leafy, look like it's ran through the fucking trim machine. Then you got growers like me out there hand trimming every bud. Growers like me that have to harvest ourselves. Have to harvest ourselves. When you guys see those rooms I'm doing, when those come down, nigga, that's me. You'll notice I vanished from fucking <laughs> social media for a while. Ask Frosty about last summer when I was in trim jail for three weeks. Because I had two indoor rooms come down and a greenhouse come down at the same time. I spent three weeks in trim jail, hand trimming everything. Including the depths. Because I cared about what y'all was going to get. I cared about what y'all was going to get. I ain't going out this the cheap way. Can I just get a machine and run this through it and just drop the price and give you guys some lower quality shit that got a little bit of a uh, little, little chlorophyll hit to it? That y'all might not notice because y'all smoking out of backwoods now? I could have took those shortcuts, but I'm a real grower. Y'all real growers. So focus on the skills to be the best grower that you could be. Fuck them products that they telling you gonna make you grow better. Only you can make you grow better by becoming a better grower. So work every day at being the best grower that you can be. Every day. Fuck all the other shit. Sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice fun. That's why I used to love when GML had his videos up and he would tell you about nights where he'd have to sacrifice everything to get to that grow. He gotta be there. Those plants have to be leaf stripped today. Within a 24 hour period, I need this whole 30 light room leaf stripped. Ain't no going out to have no drinks. Fuck that. Ain't no going out to eat with the homies. Fuck that. Wifey blowing the phone up mad. You got to get the work done though. She mad now. She'll be happy later when you pull the Bentley up for her. But you got to do that. 
Y'all don't want to sacrifice. You want to automate so you can water from home. Then your system fail and you get back half your room dead. Now you fucking up your profits. Now you now you starting to act like the same niggas you was complaining about. Same people y'all complaining about. You about to give out the same quality that you wouldn't accept for yourself. No. Dedication. Put the work in, people. But it's nice as shit out, so I'm going to let y'all go enjoy y'all day. I ain't going to keep y'all forever. Of course, this is going to stay up. I'll leave this up, and I'll try to find a way. And somebody know how. Find a way to get this video to YouTube. Let me know, because I definitely want to figure out how to get these live streams from here over to the Green Table channel and the Beast Coast channel. Y'all make sure y'all get over there and subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for tapping in. Become the best grower that you can be when you think that you done gave it everything. You're lying to yourself. It's still a little bit more in there. And the reason that it's still a little more in there is because you thought you gave yourself everything instead of actually trying to exert everything. So the next time that you think you done, you ain't done yet, it's still more in there. Dig a little deeper, work a little bit harder, Beast Coast, baby. Yeah.